my name is Christy and welcome to day 302 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I have this Amuse 3-in-1 foundation stick. So here like you can clearly see that that's 3-in-1, but online on the Shop Miss A website it says it's a 2-in-1 and that it's a foundation and concealer in one, but on this packaging, it says three in one, but no details whatsoever. So I'm not sure what that third product is. But anyways, I have this in the shade Fair on the Shot Miss A website. This only comes in six different shades. Not good at all. It's so hard also to buy foundation shades online because you can never really be too sure how they're actually going to look in person. So hopefully this doesn't look terrible. But since I got this from Shop Miss A, this was only $1 and it's cruelty free. So I have no idea what the finish is claiming to be on this. So we're just gonna have to see how it actually looks on the skin. I like to see how much product we actually get. And I'm actually kind of surprised that this is a little bit more than I was expecting, even though it's not much at all. We'll see if a little bit goes a long way but I feel like I go through foundation sticks pretty quickly. And so I did already prime my skin using the Too Faced Hangover Primer that I love. It's one of my go-to primers, so I'm used to how it affects my skin and how it makes my foundation look. And as you can see, I have redness, I have large pores, I have blemishes. So I also don't know what level of coverage I'm going to be able to get with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying. So it's not gliding on very smooth. You can see it's kind of hard to drag across my skin. It doesn't seem to be applying with that much pigment either. So I'm just gonna start out with this small section. And this did say to blend it in with either a sponge or a foundation brush. And I just personally prefer sponges. So I'm using my Dampen Real Technique sponge. All right, that blended out pretty easily, but there is little to no coverage. Let's see if I can build it up. I swear my skin looks so much worse in the lighting that I use when filming. I'm like, oh my gosh, I did not even realize that I had this many skin imperfections as I'm looking at my skin now. Like, I need this to be some coverage to cover this up, but uh, it's not really, not really helping. Wow, this is very light coverage. I'm gonna move on to other parts of my face. And also, I had read that this has a weird scent, but it, it doesn't have a weird scent to me. It does just kind of smell like a typical foundation in my opinion. It's not very strong or anything. I love my Real Techniques sponge. I used to love my Beauty Blender, but they're just so expensive and these are so affordable. So I actually just bought like a bulk package of them over Black Friday weekend probably end up giving away some of them as gifts because I love them so much. I need to have a, a stash now. So even though this is very minimal coverage, it's looking pretty good on the skin. It's looking like a very natural finish, very smooth. So it doesn't look really like I have makeup on. Okay, so this is my face with one layer of the stick foundation on and I do feel like my skin looks more even, my pores are less noticeable, my blemishes are somewhat covered but not really, I like a lot more coverage. So this is not terrible for a light coverage foundation, it does look very smooth on the skin. I'm going to try going back in with a little bit more but clearly this amount of product is not going to last me very long because I'm going through a lot of it to just do this one full face look. So 
So even though I'm layering on a lot onto my skin, it doesn't look cakey or anything. It's just really not buildable. It's not giving me much of a difference in coverage. So I'm just not impressed by the amount of pigment, the amount of coverage, but everything else I'm liking. I'm liking the way it sits on the skin. I'm liking this natural, I would say, almost matte finish. I like the way it sits on my pores. It minimizes them. It's not emphasizing them. It's not emphasizing any dry patches on my chin. So it just looks really nice and smooth on my skin that if this had more pigment and more coverage, it would be amazing. But because of that, I do feel like this is performing like a dollar store makeup product, like I would expect a dollar store makeup product to perform. So it's definitely not up to par with those high end foundation sticks that I like, but it's not terrible. If you just want light coverage, I think that this is a great option. My skin these days needs more than light coverage, but I'm gonna hold on to this for days when my skin is cooperating and light coverage could actually look good. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I could go out like this and feel confident, but that's my feedback. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried this and what your thoughts are on it. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.